Hi, today we're going to learn how to create a newsletter using Microsoft Word 2007 templates. If you're not sure how to set up and create a newsletter in Microsoft Word 2007, this step-by-step -step tutorial walks you through the basics of how to create a newsletter using Microsoft Word 2007 templates. You don't need a fancy program to create a custom newsletter for your business or organization. All the tools that are necessary are already on your desktop in Microsoft Word 2007. Word newsletter templates are easy to use and can be configured in any way that you want. We'll get started in a moment. Creating a newsletter in Word is just like creating any other Word document. You start by clicking on the Office button located on the top left of the screen. You then click the new icon button and then you will be taken to the new document dialog box. There you scroll down and select newsletters. Depending on the version of Microsoft Office 2007 you have, your copy of Microsoft Word 2007 will give you anywhere from 17 to 55 choices of newsletter templates to choose from. As you can see, there are quite a few newsletters that you can choose from to handle a variety of newsletter types from family to business related. Once you've decided on a newsletter template that suits your needs, all you need to do is click on the download button. So we're going to select the family newsletter and we're going to click the download button now our template is displayed in the main document window for us to begin editing it edit the heading information word templates have been set up by creating one or more columns and by then inserting a series of text boxes that contain standard text or graphic boxes containing standard pictures inside of those columns. So if I wanted to edit the heading area, I generally would just start by typing in any of the text boxes that would appear in that area. For instance, this text box says Our Family Newsletter. If I want to change this to say Rogers Family Newsletter, I merely just click in this box and just change it. If I want to change the newsletter date, I need only highlight that text box, click in that text box, and then change the date. And that's all I need to do to make changes in the heading area. Edit the individual text boxes within the body of the newsletter. Editing the columns works the same way as editing the heading. Just click in the text box and begin by typing the text you want. You can also copy and paste text into a text box from another document. The best way to do this and not lose the current format within the template is to copy the text from whatever document you are using and then paste it into the text box using the, using the paste special feature. This button is located on the home tab of the Microsoft ribbon menu. Let's go ahead and demonstrate. I've got a document here where I've got some text. I'm going to highlight that text and I'm going to copy that text. I'm going to come back to the newsletter template. I'm going to highlight some information. I'm going to click on paste which is on the home tab in the Microsoft ribbon. Then I'm going to select paste special. Then I'm going to select unformatted text and I'm going to click OK. Now that text has replaced the text that I highlighted and by using the paste special feature I retain the formatting that's currently in the newsletter. Edit the current images or pictures. Each newsletter template in Microsoft Word 
comes with pre-selected images already loaded in the newsletter. You can make changes to the images by clicking on the current image. And if you want to edit the image, such as change the border, just click the Pictures Tool icon located on the Format portion of the Microsoft Ribbon. Here you can change the brightness of the image or the contrast or add a shadow effects or if you like you can resize the image or even crop it. Change an existing image or picture. You can add something from clip art or your own photo by clicking on any picture in the template you want to change. To add clip art, just click on the photo or the image, then click on insert on the insert tab, then select clip art. Let's say we were looking for cars. Click go, search for cars. When we locate the clip art that we want, then we just click on that clip art and it replaces the image or picture in that dialog box with the clip art you selected. And that's all to it. As I mentioned earlier, you can also replace the standard image in your newsletter with a picture or a photo from your computer. To do this, you just simply click on the image you want to replace. In this case, this is the clip art we added earlier. Click on Insert, then click on Picture. This will take you to your file and folder directories area on your computer and you can add a picture and I will add a picture how about a picture of us? and voila that picture has been inserted to preview your newsletter just click on the view tab and then click on full screen reading. Your newsletter is now displayed in full screen view. When you're done, click the close button in the top right of the screen. When you're finished with your design and you've made all the changes that you want to make, make sure that you save your work. Then you can print it or you can email it. Well, that's all to it. You're done. And that is how you create a newsletter using Microsoft Word 2007. I hope you've enjoyed.